Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today, I'm finally doing my update for the Let's Get Panned Project Pan. This project was created by Deb B, Erica Conger, and myself for the Pantastic Ladies collab. I will, of course, have those ladies in the description box below as well as a link to the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. Now, Deb is taking a little hiatus. She has taken care of herself, so she has not been filming lately. So Erica and I have decided to do this every other month. So we skipped August. We're doing September, November, uh, January, and then the finale in March. This project is all based on the music of the 80s group Def Leppard. All of the prompts are Def Leppard songs, and it's so much fun because I love Def Leppard. So way back during our July update, I had, what's going on? UPS. Um, not for me, unfortunately. But way back in July, we had some roll-ins. I believe they were all roll-ins. Maybe, maybe one was not. So the first product was from the prompt Gods of War, and it was something that you used to camouflage. I brought in the Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream. This is what it looks like. And my goal was to use it 50 times. I've actually used it 58. I had used it seven times prior to the last update, and I have used it an additional 51 times. I do it all, I use it almost every time I do makeup, almost. Not quite, but almost every time I do makeup. And then sometimes on no makeup days, I will put it over my spots because it blends in very well with my uh, skin tone. The next product was for the prompt, Have You Ever Needed Someone So Much? And that is something that you constantly repurchase. I brought in the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This is a constant repurchase of mine, and I did not write down how many times I was going to use it, what my goal was, so I guess I just am going to finish it, and I mean, it's already clear down to here, so probably by the end of next month, it will be finished, and I have used this 32 times since I brought it in last month. Next up for the prompt, I want to touch you. That is something, it is a hand or body lotion. I brought in the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy line, Breathe Deep, uh, Eucalyptus and Lavender. My goal was to finish. Um, it's been gone. It has been gone. Like it, I can't get any more out. I am not going to cut it open, but this is something that I used as a hand cream and used it many, many times a day. So I had 37 more uses to finish it for a total of 99 uses, and it was pretty far down there when I brought it in. Next up, for the prompt Pyromania, that is something that you wanna set on fire. Well, if you're not new here, you know that I don't love lip glosses. I don't love lip glosses, but I brought in the Buxom uh, Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade April, because it is one that I don't hate. I only used it five times prior to the last update, and I have used it additional five. I had a 30 use goal on this, but I've actually decluttered this. As soon as I'm done with this video, it's going in the trash because uh, it makes me nauseous. Plumping lip glosses do not bother me at all. Like the, the burning sensation, it doesn't bother me. This doesn't burn, but there's something in it that makes me nauseous. I talked about this in my empties for August, I believe it was, and it took me 10, 10 tries to figure out that this is what was doing it. I would put it on, and then within 30 minutes, I would be very nauseous. So um, I used it 10 times. It is getting decluttered. No bueno. It is not good. Um, I'm really disappointed that I can't continue to use it because I I really do, I really do like it as far as a gloss. It makes my lips look really nice, but yeah, so I am decluttering that. Next up for the prompt, Too Late for Love, that is to dupe something that you missed out on. 
So I am duping, and I can't remember what it's called now, but it is a Makeup Geek blush. It is a bright pink. So uh, this is very similar to that. I am duping that. I have this in for 20 uses. I've only used it four times. So this is definitely rolling over to next update. It's a very pretty blush. It's just very bright pink. And that is it, you guys. Those are all of the products that I had in. So I only am keeping two products in. This will be finished, like I said, this month probably or next month probably. And then I have 25, no, 26 more uses on this. I'm actually going to roll in five products because I already know that this is going to be out soon. So I'm going to roll in five products. Okay, I have my spinning wheel up and I'm going to draw five products. So let's try the first one is dangerous. We're going to do our second one. Photograph. I think I know what that means. I think I remember that. Remove. Number three. Paper Sun, remove. Number four, don't I already have that? I already have that, we're gonna remove that. Okay, next one. Remove that, we've already have that. I don't know why these didn't come out. Pyromania. I already had that one. Remove. What the heck, man? Okay, we haven't had this one yet. Let's get rocked. And one more. Animal. It's been so long since I looked at the prompts for this, so I'm actually going to go off camera. I'm going to see what those mean. I'm going to pick my products and we'll come back. We'll discuss. Don't go anywhere. Okay. We are back. We are back. That took a minute. It always does. It always does you guys. So the first product that I'm going to show you, these are not in the order that they were drawn, but these are the order that they are in my notebook. So that's what we're going with. The first one is animal. And that is cruelty free or animal packaging. And so I am bringing in the Copacetic highlighter. This is the Perfect Glow, it's a kitty paw, Perfect Glow highlighter in the shade Rose Petals. I just had my Vanilla Peach Bellini in. This is what it looks like. This is a stained from a blush that I. Actually, the blush I'm wearing, the cream blush I'm wearing today. Yeah. So that is what that looks like. It is called, what I say, Rose Petals. So I'm going to use this 10 times. Next up for the prompt, Dangerous, and that is something with a controversial uh, ingredient in it. And I picked the Wet n Wild. You can barely see it because it's white on white. Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I actually just used up my finishing powder, so I'm going to bring this in. Um, it is translucent. It looks white, but it's translucent, so you can't really see it. And it has talc in it. Actually, it's the very first uh, ingredient is talc. Whatever. I, that doesn't bother me. The next prompt that was drawn is Let's Get Rocked and that is to bring in an alcohol-themed product. I am bringing in the single venter. A venter is someone that makes wine, so that is alcohol-themed. This is from the Wine and Only, the ColourPop Wine and Only palette, and I'm actually getting ready to do a Build Your Own palette um, for fall, and I really wanted to put a deep burgundy or a wine shade in there, so that will be nice. I'm going to use this 10 times. Since we're not updating for two months, I'm going to go ahead and use that 10 times. Let me swatch that for you because it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. That is what it looks like. 
Can't wait to use that. One of my favorite shades to use in the fall is a deep red or a deep burgundy or maroon, wine, anything like that. The next prompt is Paper Sun, and that is an SPF or something that makes you look tan. Well, I am already working on two bronzers, so I'm not bringing in a bronzer. I was looking for some um, bronzy glow drops, but I can't find them. Maybe I finished them. I don't think I did. Anyway, I'm bringing in the Neutrogena Invisible Daily. Uh, this is... You guys, I can't read it. Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum Broad Spectrum SPF. It is not a serum, it's a cream, but it is an SPF, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to finish it because it's just a mini. Um, I don't really care for chemical sunscreens. I don't like the way they smell, but it's in my collection. I need to use it, otherwise it's going to go bad. So I'm going to finish that. I didn't write that down. Next up for the prompt, Pretty Packaging. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm bringing in a fragrance. I don't normally bring fragrances into my projects just because I don't wear them very often and I don't have very many perfumes. I mean, I have more than I did at the beginning of the year, but they're all like minis. But this is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl and Anthony bought me this years ago. And it's, let's see, it's right here now. I'm going to use this, I'm only going to use it five times. Five times. I don't, I only wear perfume, like if we're going to dinner or something like that. I rarely, rarely wear perfume. I will wear a body spray. Like when I was working, I would wear a body spray to work, but I never wore perfume to work. So rarely do I wear perfume. Those are my five products that I'm bringing in for the next two months. Let me know in the comments, what are you working on? What have you finished? Are you doing your own panning project at home? Let's start a conversation. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.